Hey everyone, welcome to my channel. Today I thought I'd show you this Charlotte Tilbury inspired look. I picked this card up from Selfridges um, a couple of summers ago and it's um, a fantastic look with heavy eyes and a soft nude peachy lip. So I've used this for inspiration today. So I hope you guys like it. Okay, so let's start off with the Revitalift Magic Blur by L'Oreal. I like to use this as a primer. It's quite good for covering up open pores and um, just any small exceptions. Next up is the Paint Pot Soft Okra from MAC as a um, primer for my eyes before the eyeshadow. So as this is going to be a, a smoky look, I'm going to use the Makeup Forever Aquamatic Jumbo Pencil in black to set that base for that smoky eye. And I'm just going to blend that out with a soft brush. I'm going to use that NARS um, palette, it's a dual intensity eyeshadow palette, um, there are 8 shades in there, I'm just going to go in with that darkest black like shade uh, to blend out and smooth out the um, black pencil. Get a blending brush and just blend it out. Then I'm going to go in with the um, soft brown shade just to um, help blend it out even more and just soften that line at the top. Just keep blending. And then I'm going to use that top right colour, it's kind of like um, a, a sort of maroon bronzy type shade, just to give it a little bit more warmth. And just keep blending. I'm going to mix in the HD Ultra Foundation by Makeup Forever from Yves Saint Laurent uh, Touche Noir Concentrate. It's like, um, like a glowy kind of um, product. It's not a foundation. It's got like a pink undertone to it and it just adds a glow. So I like to use this with my foundation just to brighten things up a little bit. So on with the foundation. Now next I'm going to use um, a concealer, this is the Marc Jacobs Concealer, um, it's quite a rich kind of um, a consistency, it's quite moussey, I don't know the shade of this so I can't see it from the packaging but um, it's got a slight peachy undertone which helps with any darkness under the eyes. Next up is the um, Maybelline Age Rewind, Instant Age Rewind Concealer, it's in the shade Neutral just to add a bit of brightness, almost like a sort of highlighter. Next up is the Laura Mercier Translucent Powder. Just to help set things, I'm going to use my Beauty Blender for that. I'm applying this sort of semi-baking, semi-setting. So now that that um, 
translucent powder is on, I'm going to work with that Makeup Forever pencil again, just to define the bottom uh, part of the eyes and just smudge that in with a small smudging brush. So to get that smoky look, I'm basically going to repeat the same three colours that I used on top um, in the same order. So I'm going in with that dark um, charcoal -y kind of shade just to blur it all out and blend it out. More powder. It's quite an intense look this, so I'm going in with the um, contouring, or prepping up for the contouring. So in with the brows, I'm using Anastasia Beverly Hills Brow Wiz, and the shade is medium brown. My eyebrows are quite thick, and I don't really like to make them too defined, otherwise they just look way too thick. So. I'm quite happy to leave them looking a bit um, natural, a little bit bushy still. <laughs> So now I'm going to use that lightest shade for my tear duct area just to make the eyes pop a little bit, give it a bit of brightness. And then over the brow bone as well. Now in for the contouring, um, I like this Bahama Mama from The Balm. It's a single shadow and it's a really nice cool brown which um, I think works really well for contouring. Just contour my nose a little bit. I don't normally do this but I thought seeing as it's quite an intense look I'd go for it. Kind of changed my mind halfway through so I kind of brushed it off a little bit towards the end. So brush off the excess powder. Now for the blusher. This is the Inner Masca blusher. Um, it's a powder blusher in Lover. I'm not too sure if they've still got this um, shade in stock, but it's a really nice peachy, corally kind of colour. Now for a little bit more extra warmth, I'm going in with um, the Guerlain Terracotta uh, Jolie Tonte. So it's in 03 Natural Brunette. In with a pen eyeliner to create a little bit of a soft wing. Under the eyes as well. Now I'm just going to use some mascara. This is the Maybelline Rocket Mascara. Now, my current favourite lashes at the moment are the Amalia Eye Lashes, and this is in Lowen. Piles on the glue there, but anyhow. Let's just stick those on.
So now for the lips, I'm using the Max Boldly Bare pencil to line and fill in my lips. I'm going to go in with um, Ila Masca's Matte Lipstick in Sonnet. It's a really nice peachy colour. Next up is NARS Turkish Delight Lip Gloss, just to add a bit more shine to it. I'm just going to cover up those um, glue deposits with my uh, black line pen. Now up for some highlighter, I'm using Mary Luminizer by The Balm, just uh, along my cheekbones there. And that's it. I hope you guys liked it. Let me know what you think and um, see you guys soon.